In the soft twilight of this birch, where Hugh's whisper secrets long forgotten, there lies a scene that stirs the heart as deeply as a forgotten melody rediscovered in the chambers of the soul. It's a dreamscape, ethereal and fluid, where the boundaries between the real and the imagined blur like memories on the edge of waking. Here, in this realm of color and light, figures emerge not quite tangible, yet vivid as the characters that populate our most vivid dreams. They are like echoes of people we once knew, or perhaps people we are yet to meet, their forms rendered in bold strokes that speak more of emotion than a physical reality. They exist in a state of becoming, half-formed, as if they're captured in the very act of being conjured by the imagination. The world around these spectral figures is alive, pulsating with a rhythm that is felt rather than seen. The sky, a tapestry of twilight, holds within it the soft sigh of the approaching night. The water, a mirror to the sky, ripples with the gentle touch of unseen breezes. It's as if the elements themselves are in conversation, speaking a language known only to those who dream. In this painting, time seems to stand still, yet also to flow like a river. It's a moment captured, but also a moment that stretches into eternity, a paradox that would have pleased perhaps Proust himself. For in this scene, as in memory, everything is transient yet eternal, ever-changing yet forever the same. To gaze upon this painting is to dive into a sea of emotion, to be enveloped in a world where the lines between feeling and reality are as delicate as the brush strokes that bring this vision to life. It's an invitation to remember, to dream, to feel and in that feeling, to find something profoundly, beautifully human. The painting depicts a scene from Sholokhov's book, and quiet flows the dawn, where the river, ever-present and ever-changing, symbolizes the relentless flow of time and the inevitability of change. In this sweeping saga, Love emerges not as a tranquil haven, but as a force as potent and unpredictable as the river itself, capable of both nourishing and destroying. The story teaches us that love, like the river, must be navigated with care and respect, for its currents run deep and its tides are not easily tamed. 